From the Hello, good evening. Hello. After uh, all, all Saints Day and All Souls Day, I'm here with uh, Miss Belgium. <laughs> Hello, Miss Belgium. How are you? I'm good. Can you please introduce yourself? My name is Maralyn. Maralyn Turmes. I'm 28 years old. But don't tell it's a secret. I'm that old. <laughs> I'm 25 forever. <laughs> and I'm living in Belgium, but I'm Filipina by heart. Okay. Can't believe you're 28. Huh? <laughs> I know. So, um, uh, Miss Asia Pacific International just finished, yes. and you just, why did you return? Well, I returned because I'm part of the National Director's team for Miss Earth Belgium. So I was here to support my Belgian delegate, which is Karu van Borg. She's a super nice girl, she did a very good job, and now I'm here to enjoy myself. Oh, just for vacation. <laughs> to spend time with friends. How many Belgian delegates? came back here after Miss Asia Pacific International? I think... You mean after Miss Earth? Mm -hmm. I think I'm the only one. After their, they competed for Miss Earth, you mean? After Miss Asia Pacific International. So you came back with uh, with whom? What are, who are those Belgian uh, delegates? Oh, I was here with Ken and Remy, which are the organization of Miss Exclusive, Miss Earth Belgium. I don't think. And uh, what language do you speak in Belgium? I speak Dutch, Dutch? and French. French, okay. So can you greet in your local tongue uh, the French and Dutch people to come and visit the Philippines? Bonjour tout le monde, hallo iedereen. Kom zeker eens langs naar de Filipijnen, want het is fantastisch. And uh, which part of the Philippines would you uh, recommend them to? Come. Oh my gosh, I would recommend the entire Philippines <laughs> because wherever you go in Philippines it's always uh, it's always in my heart. I think um, it's a good experience to of course visit Palawan, visit Boracay, Cebu because those islands are gorgeous but I think people should experience the city life in Manila as well. You know, you have the good side of Manila but mm. A few days ago, I spent a night at the night market, mm -hmm. and it was interesting to see. Okay. It opened my eyes because people that live, I think it's Tondo. Tondo, yeah, it's yeah. nearby Tondo, and it was a shock for me to, to be around there. Wow, okay. And you realize how good you have it in Belgium, uh -huh. how good we have it in Belgium. Yeah. Um, but you also realize there's a lot to give to the world, you know, just by giving the people a smile, make them feel loved, you see, yeah, I yeah. should definitely recommend to visit that one. Yeah, well, that's one of the uh, poorest places in the country. Yeah. But uh, for tourists, what are the top three uh, places would you recommend to uh, French and Dutch? In my country, you mean? I yeah, in the, here, in here, uh, to the Dutch people and French people, what uh, what place in Philippines would you recommend? Like three, you can mention three or two. Okay, first of all, Palawan, El Mindo, <laughs> and if you go, take me because I never been there. <laughs> I've been to Puerto Princesa, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, number two is definitely Zambanga Sibugay. It was a place I went with Miss Earth, with Miss Lorraine Schock. Uh -huh. And for me, the I had the warmest welcome ever there, so it's definitely a place you should visit as well. And then number three, um, Cebu, mm -hmm. because Cebu has the best mangoes. <laughs> ah, really? <laughs> so you're with Lorraine Schock, she's uh, the Miss uh, Belgium, right? Uh, for Miss Earth, Lorraine Schock? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. She took Miss Philippines, me, Miss Chile, um, Miss Nigeria, 
and Miss Russia on wow. a trip. She is a squad, huh? Back in my Miss Earth days, 2017. Oh, you are also a candidate for Miss Earth. Yes, I was. <laughs> you didn't know? I didn't know. I thought you were just uh, Miss Asia Pacific, huh? No, no, I was Miss Earth. You're a veteran. So, um, let's go for the second scene. Good evening, Hello. I'm back here in... Where are we in right now, Laura? We are in Nova, so on a network festival. I'm with uh, Miss uh, Laurel Burmesh, right? True. Yeah, <laughs> Miss Belcher. So, um, uh, we will talk about on our third episode, so BJTV will air this, uh, BJTV, um, about your career back in Belgium. Okay. So what do you do back in Belgium, Laura? Back in Belgium, I work together with Miss Exclusive. I am uh, part of the National Directors team. Miss Exclusive has the license for Miss Earth Belgium, for Miss Intercontinental, for Miss Global, mm -hmm. uh, and of course Miss Asia Pacific International, the competition I joined. So my job in Belgium, I search for new sponsors, I keep a good contact with the sponsors we have, I'm looking for new girls to compete, I take care of the girls that are competing, and of course I take care of the winners, um, I make sure they have events to go to, I make sure they have a good wardrobe to wear, I do everything together with Ken and me. What's the name of your business? Miss Exclusive. Miss Exclusive. Do you have a website or a fan page for Miss Yeah, we have. Uh, our Instagram is Miss Exclusive Official. You can find us on Facebook, which is Miss Exclusive. Surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then our website is www.missexclusive.be. www. I was speaking in Dutch, sorry. Okay, can you can you spell it for the Philippine sponsor? Maybe they can sponsor your ladies. Oh yeah, it is Miss. Exclusive. That Belgium. That B, right? In Belgium, yeah. But if you search Miss Exclusive Belgium, you will you will find me. Or keep in touch with me. Oh, okay, okay. So like uh, what are the brands that you uh, promoted with before? Like car brands or travel brands? Yeah, we have an eco-friendly car in uh, Belgium, which is very necessary because our Miss Exclusive is driving around with a new car every, every year. Uh, this year it's a BMW, eco-friendly, it's an electric car, so wow. that's very suitable for a Miss Earth. Um, we have clothing sponsors, we have beauty sponsors for hair, makeup, nails, uh, skincare, we have everything. And if a girl wants something, if she for example says, I want lash extensions or I don't know, then uh, it's my job to keep her happy and search a sponsor for her. Yeah, so if you're a business out there anywhere in the world, you should hire this uh, company because uh, <laughs> yeah, she had experience from Miss Universe, Miss Education, Miss International. She knows what exactly what's good for your business. I know what's good for you. Can you tell, can you tell the number and email so that they can contact you? Yeah, uh, it's info at missexclusive.be but I think if you just uh, send me a text on IG, then uh, you're good. Let me keep in touch. And my Instagram is Lauralinfer News. But I'm sure it's linked down below somewhere. So what are the brands that you've worked with before? Like you're very proud of. Tell I'm them. super proud. We work together with BMW, of course. Big sponsor. Um, you know... I'm looking for brands that are internationally, but most of the time I'm looking um, for, for brands that's more known in Belgium because I think it's super important to promote your local uh, ambassadors, so, which is Banana Moon. I don't know, do you know Banana Moon? Quite the bikini, familiar. The bikini, uh, I would suggest Mercedes or Victoria's Secret should oh. just get <laughs> yeah, but if it's Victoria's Secret, book me, please. <laughs> what are your favorite brands that you're eyeing for? Oh, my favorite brands. Um, like Ferrari, Porsche, Gucci, or something. Oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> I'm a shopaholic, I must admit, so I have a lot of favorite brands. Maybe you will eventually invite me to go to Belgium. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you come to Belgium, you should try my chocolates and my french fries. 
So thank you, uh, Laurelin. So hopefully you can get a lot of sponsors to your company. Yeah. And also, uh, we will see your website and we'll see your previous work from there. Okay? Perfect. Okay. Thank so you, you so you much. Should, you should uh, visit the site, okay? okay? What is the site again? It's info at misexclusive.be. That is our, uh, yes. our email. Mm -hmm. And then it's www.misexclusive.be. Right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Only five uh, what's up, Filipinas? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, greet our editor, Ross Rosario. Hello, say hi, Ross Rosario. What's up, Filipinas? Hello, Ross Rosario. <laughs> Tell her uh, your name and your country. My name is Lara Lee Vermees. I'm 28 years old and I'm from Belgium. <laughs> but definitely Filipina by heart. <laughs> okay. So, um, She's, uh, she's covering a lot of pageants with it. So actually bought me in uh, several pageants, including Mappy and then uh, <laughs> Miss Earth. Yeah. yeah, earlier Miss Earth, she, she bought me there. So he was so busy and then yeah, he, he's busy covering. So um, can you tell us, uh, 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 viewers of Asa Filipinas, your future plan for joining the pageant? When I was joining Miss Asia Pacific International, I really was expecting this is going to be my last pageant. Then, Peter Roch, my mentor from KF, he told me, Laura, you should join Miss Global. And I was like, oh no, no pageants anymore for me. But he convinced me and Miss Global is going to be my next pageant. Not this year, but in 2020. Can you tell us more about your return to Miss Earth? Where did you go uh, after that for Miss Earth Since I'm a part of the national directors of uh, Miss Earth Belgium, I joined the competition this year to support my delegate from Belgium, which is, which is Karu van Gort. She did an amazing job and I'm super proud of her. And that's the reason why I came back to the Philippines. And of course, also to enjoy some time with my friends here. What what uh, what award did you win in uh, Belgium? In Mappy? In Miss Earth. Back in my day or this year? Right now, right now, yeah. Caro, she didn't meet the twenty, but she did an amazing job. But she got an amazing friend, very supportive. True, true, <laughs> true. So that's good, even though if you lost. They have a very supportive school. Yeah, and you get the experience of Miss Earth of the Philippines and that's the most important. You experience Miss Earth, right? True. How, how was it? Amazing. Miss Earth opened my eyes, it changed my life, um, and it brought me to the Philippines, which is my the love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, compared to Mappy, how do you uh, differentiate uh, Miss Asia Pacific International to Miss Earth? Um, you know, the difference between Mappy and Miss Earth is of course the advocacy. Because Miss Earth is more towards environmental activities, while Miss Asia Pacific International is more against, uh, it's more uh, about beauty and diversity. So the advocacy is different. different. But both super interesting. So what is your advice to the uh, young ladies out there who's uh, like into pageant? Uh, what can you advise them? Yeah. What I would advise a young girl who's uh, starting with pageantry is just go with the flow, enjoy, but try to pick up uh, all the information and all the um, how to be in English, but try to learn from every activity you go, from every person you meet and if you don't win in your first pageant, don't worry, just go with the flow and enjoy yourself and keep on learning because I'm 28 and I'm still learning. Uh, what, uh, what age did, uh, did you start and uh, when did you join the pageant? I started my first pageant back in Belgium at the age of 25. Can you uh, tell us uh, the stepping stone or the different pageants that you joined? Of course. Um, it's actually a quite funny story since I um, I joined first Mrs. Universe. So I started with the Mrs. I was never married 
Uh, this is actually funny. <laughs> I was never uh, married, I never had children, but I was 25. And the one who's taking care of Mrs. Universe Belgium, he said, oh, you have the age, uh, can you join? So I said, yes, why not, whatever. <laughs> so I joined, I won the pageant, I went international. Um, I got a good place there. And then after Miss Universe, I wanted to join Miss Earth. But then they found out that I did the Mrs. competition. Again.